let's get into how I created this look from a Zuresis wig. The wig is called Ines and it's in the shade green, not the shade, <laughs> it's in the color green rainbow. It's a super pretty wig. This is how it came straight out the pack. It has a side part and honestly like this wig has been up for a while so I think it only cost maybe like $18. Um, so I'll leave the link below as usual. And yeah, this is how it looks straight out the pack. It's the fibers are really soft and I like even though that it has like why can't I talk? I like that even though it has this super pretty color, it's not as shiny um as you would think it is, like in real life, as you would think it would be with such pretty colors in real life. I think it looks it looks like 613 hair that was dyed. So here I am just getting ready to style it. I'm parting, I would say maybe about three inches back in the front close to um beginning at my temple my right temple ending at my left temple i don't know how to say that but you see it oh yeah three inches of hair in the front there and just carefully cutting some bangs into it first of all the cap on this wig is a little bit tight and the lace is a little bit uncomfortable so just know that if you do decide to get this wig um, in a different color or in the same color just know that it's gonna be a little bit tight and a little bit uncomfortable on the um, on your like edges there I was just shifting it to a middle part to see if I could get it to work a little bit better but you'll see that the color distribution is off because it was designed to be a um, side part wig and here I am just using my razor to um, cut away some of the hair I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it at first I was thinking with the way that the curls were I wanted to go with the shag I ended up with um, kind of like a jellyfish kind of haircut you'll see at the end or um, I guess you already saw it at the beginning <laughs> my hand. there I am just using my trusty um, razor comb you can find these on Amazon this is the green one I couldn't find my black one but the black one is sturdier if you can find that on Amazon it should be in my um, shop my Amazon shop what is that called yeah but you can find it in my in the link below so here I am using um, just straight up fabric cutting scissors I find that it works best with uh, synthetic wigs the hair is less likely to get lodged um, you know, and I have to keep opening it, taking the hair out. But yeah, here I am just cutting away some of the hair to create more blunt layers closer to where my chin and jaw is. I really shape my face. And I like to turn my head to the side a bit so I can see how the layers are sitting. And here I am just chopping away basically until I'm satisfied. I don't want to chop away too much at the end because it was already a little bit thin. And that's fine. I wanted to leave all this in so that you guys can really see what goes into styling these wigs and yeah it just takes a lot of looking into the mirror looking into the camera seeing what works for your face specifically you see how that little like swoop is going right to where my cheekbone kind of ends where it angles down that's what I do for most of my wigs for pretty much all of my wigs I like to make sure my cheekbones and my jaw are um, accentuated by the wig that I'm wearing um, yeah, that's pretty much it I'm just chopping away once again still trying to figure out what shape I'm going for um, I did notice that I guess on the right side you can see that the layers were more were easier to create because once again there's more hair on that side and here I am just adding some free spray because what I'm gonna do is fluff it up with the brush make sure it really is full on both sides I just love the way I love the gradient of this hair and I wish that we got more wigs like this with this kind of dye like this kind of tie-dye look I think it's such a it's a trend right now but it's difficult to do on synthetic wigs on your own like we all know or we can all look up how to dye synthetic wigs but when you want to do special colors like this it is a bit difficult so I love that when we get special wigs like this and Ziri says Ziri says is always coming through with these special colors you can't find anywhere else honestly so I am just shifting it back to see what it would look like in a side part and I don't hate it um, I'm just not like a huge side part girl but it's kind of giving um, 
Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. It's kind of giving that, and I don't mind it because I think that style is coming back as well. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, you know, side bang era. For me, it was middle school and everybody had that <laughs> the long side bangs they're just super fun so here i am just curling some bangs into it and holding it in my hand so that it cools that's what it looks like and i'm cutting it the side as well just to make sure it matches the right side that you're seeing I will say it because this wig is in the middle part it was a little bit more difficult to get it to look even um, but you know what we persevered we made it work I just fluffed up the top again with my brush and here I am just curling that side because once again you can see that the right side has a little bit more flip to it um, it just has like a different shape overall from what I saw before and yeah I'm just making some final adjustments doing some final clippings and i just love the way when i cut the hair how it just curls up like that that's the beauty of you know trimming um like body wave hair it just works so perfectly when it's synthetic like this and yeah that's pretty much it that's how it looks with the side bang and this is the middle and it can really be worn in both both uh, styles but i went with the middle and that's it thanks for watching bye